suggest an upset might be in the cards. Mickey Reynolds provided the ammunition and Gary Teal met the cross perfectly. Great work by Reynolds and a superb finish by Teal put Air into the lead against the Premier opponents. Air keeper Craig Nelson had been off having had 10 stitches inserted in his left knee. His return to action wasn't a happy one. Lee McCulloch's overhead effort managed to find a way through and referee Martin Clark was satisfied it had crossed the line. From this angle, though, the air fans might not agree. Seven minutes later, Motherwell were ahead. Twaddle's cross, headed on by Duffy, and Don Goodman in position to crack the ball into the net. Twaddle had been causing problems down the left, Duffy's attempt to intercept failed, and Goodman took full advantage. Ayr didn't have to wait long to get back into the game. Mickey Reynolds again posed a problem for the Motherwell defence, but Greg Denham's solution wasn't ideal, and the referee didn't hesitate. Not a difficult decision. Gary Teal took the penalty and sent Andy Gorham the wrong way. Teal's second goal of the afternoon, and Ayr back in level terms at 2-2. Three minutes later, the referee was pointing to the spot at the other end. Townsley's pass found Goodman, but his run was abruptly halted by Craig Nelson. All the protests were ignored, the referee in no doubt Nelson had made contact. Jed Brannan made no mistake from the spot. Three-two to Motherwell, courtesy of the Cayman Islands' latest call-up. Motherwell looked to build on their advantage, but the seesaw action wasn't over. With 39 minutes gone, Nelson's kick was collected by Glenn Hurst. His layoff found Neil Tarrant, and the striker's finish was spectacular. Tarrant, on loan from Aston Villa, put the ball well out of Gorham's reach to make it three each at the interval. The pace didn't slacken in the second half, and the temperature certainly didn't drop. Reynolds and McMillan, in fact, overheated, and with hands raised, the players were perhaps fortunate to get away with yellow cards. Reynolds reacted angrily to McMillan's challenge. Tempers flared, and both players must have wondered the colour of the cards which would be produced. Ayer had taken the game to Motherwell in the second half. The pace of Hurst and Teal causing severe problems, and Neil Tarrant always a danger. The three combined to produce the seventh goal of the game. Teal's cross deflected into Tarrant's path, his finish again clinical. The Motherwell defence was torn apart by the first division side, and Tarrant again displayed his striking prowess, albeit with the aid of a deflection. 4-3 to air. Motherwell knew they were on course to become the latest giant-killing victims. Pat Nevin was brought on in an effort to prevent that. His arrival certainly caused air problems, but Mickey Reynolds had only himself to blame for an early departure. A rash challenge, especially considering his earlier yellow card. And a sending off that put pressure on air, but they defended well to earn a quarter-final place and bring a smile to the face of manager Gordon Deal. Yes, and he's still smiling now.